Welcome to Cooking with Chef Tuan, and today we're going to have a lot of fun making a taco pizza. Yes, you heard it right, a taco pizza. All right, and as usual, the ingredients will be linked in the description box down below. And the sauce that we're making today is obviously not a traditional Italian sauce because we are indeed making a taco pizza. So just put this in a pan with a little bit of olive oil, bring it up to heat, and then what I'm gonna add is a little bit of cayenne, some chili powder, a little bit of cumin, and then we're gonna add some hot sauce. And just give this a quick stir, and you can already smell, it's starting to come together and smell like a taco sauce. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of oregano. The first time I saw this pizza on a menu back home in Minneapolis, I had no idea what to expect. But you know what, I'm glad I went with it because look, 15 years later, I'm making it now. All right, so in my freezer, I had some leftover taco meat from a previous taco dinner party that I had, and all I'm doing is, is heating it up. I'll put down below the ingredients to make this. And while you're doing your prep work, you should be preheating your oven to the highest setting possible. I have a gas oven here, so that means my heating elements are on the bottom. So I'm using a cast iron pizza pan, which can get up to almost 640 degrees. And here's pizza dough that I made the night before. You can go and buy pizza dough from your grocery store or your local pizza shop if it's available. If not, the recipe is in the link down below. Now as a kid, I always wanted to work in a pizzeria, but I never got a chance to do so until I started cooking professionally in my adult life. And that was one of my favorite stations to do. It's just the pizza station, just stretching out dough, just working with dough all day. There's nothing like it. It's pretty a zen-like experience. Now when you're stretching pizza dough, make sure that everything is floured. Your peel is floured, the bottom of your crust is floured, because the last thing you want is for your pizza to stick when you're trying to slide it into the oven. And when saucing the pizza, I'm using a three ounce ladle. That's more than enough sauce for this size pie. And you want to go as far to the edges as you want. And the cheese that I'm using today is just shredded mozzarella and shredded cheddar. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. You know, I'm not making a fancy pizza, so I'm gonna save the buffalo mozzarella and all that stuff for a different day. And then the taco seasoned ground beef goes on top and carefully slide it into your oven. Remember, this thing is ripping hot. Into this hot oven, it goes for about four minutes. This pizza doesn't take long to cook at all. Now, since I don't have two ovens here, one I would set on broil, I use my trusty chef's blowtorch to crust up and darken the sides to make it look like it's a wood-fired pizza. It does make the crust taste a little toasty, and you know what? It looks incredibly sexy. All right, and then now you just cut it into however many slices you want. I wish I just cut it more accurately in the middle, but you know what? Oh well, once all the rest of the toppings go on, you can't see it, and it's all gonna taste all equally delicious. And on top of this bad boy, I just have some shredded green lettuce, some tomatoes, some crushed up corn chips, and I'm gonna put some sour cream all around the pizza. There's probably a lot of people right now cringing on the edge of their seats, but you know what? If you love tacos and you love pizza, how can you go wrong with this? You know, I am super excited about this pizza. It looks amazing. Look at, you have that beautiful, nice crust, the fresh tomatoes, the green lettuce, the corn chips. You know there's some delicious taco meat under there and that sauce is killer. Ah, oh, I went back inside because there's a lot of construction going on right now, but look at this fully loaded taco pizza. Look at this beautiful taco pizza. It's so vibrant with so many different colors, fully loaded. If you look at the bottom crust, perfect leopard spotting super delicious all these textural and flavor contrast amazing and then listen to the sound of that crust <laughs> super good guys thanks so much for coming by and stopping and giving me some support if you like the content hit the like button and as always peace